Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to run a C++ program the easiest way. You really don't need to install any software. All you need is a browser. So let's jump in it. So first you need a browser to run your C++. If this is your first time, I think that it's always good to use a browser and then later you can install Visual Studio and so on. So all you need is a browser. You click on, you know, um, any browser, Firefox or Chrome. And then you type online uh, C++ compiler. Okay. It's already here. So when you tap on it, so this one is good. So you click on it then you have your a code here by default okay so this one just means that you bring in the header file library the include you know input output stream so it lets us work with input and output object such as c out so this one just means that you know you output hello world okay and line two here called namespace standard it means that we can use name for object and variable from the standard library so it means that you can automatically use cr here when you put this otherwise if you don't put this you have to put your standard here we're going to see that um, so the namespace standard it means that you can use name for object and variable from the standard library okay you can use it directly here basically is how you use it here okay so and this is your main function and this is the return you know if it, if your code compiled correctly is going to return a zero and this is the type of the return here is integer and you can see that if you run this one here automatically you know the program finished with exit code zero so it means that everything works fine okay and this is hello world here the hello world this is this is c out it means that um, print out you know you print uh, hello world on the screen so that's what this one means here. okay and you can always you know play around this code here okay I have a couple of here here let me um, use a couple of code I mean just to go fast okay so if I'm using this because I'm gonna show you multiple ways okay so if you here here this is a comment here and you know it's, so when you see um double bath means that it's a comment it's in green and we have two functions here it means that hello world and this is new line okay and then this one here uh it will output hello world i'm learning c plus plus okay and here the green line you can run it and automatically it can give you the output here i mean you can put this guy i think that it should work um because you work in c to give you the same things here okay but it really doesn't matter it really, you know. so that's how you can pretty much run a c plus plus program the easiest way you really don't have to in install anything here and that's what is here so now i told you guys that we can remove this one here so if you remove this one here then you have to write the standard here with uh, those four codes okay we're gonna see that so let's leave this one here i'm gonna minimize it because i want to show you both ways so let's minimize it and then let's open another one i can put it here and then let you know just open another one okay 
uh, and then we're gonna take uh, online uh, C++ compiler we're gonna take this one here so we kind of putting both you know next to each other so that uh, you, you will see that you don't really need to type this name space here so for the same program here I'm gonna you know remove this one here um, you can't use this one and so if we put it next to each other so you see here we have this one here we have include um input output streams so like i told you this one means that uh it lets you work with input and output objects such as you know c out okay so this one lets you work with this one here okay now but uh you need to be able to use the name um the name for the object and variable from the standard library and especially those names here and that's where you use the standard with the uh, four dots here okay so this one here and this one here is doing the same thing if you run this one here uh we'll see you see it's giving you the same exact answer so the key point here you can use names space here standard it means that it's gonna automatically you know use the standard library here and you don't need to write this here okay or you can omit using namespace and then but you will have to precisely put the standard i think i mean this one is better uh, i mean because it's allow you to type multiple time but this is how those two programs are written and they're doing exactly the same things okay so a blank if you if if you see a blank line in c plus plus is ignore okay you have a blank line here you can put here it doesn't really matter if you want you run it again you know c plus plus or most of the program ignore the blank line you see oh you can make it so so and c out here you can pronounce c out it's an object you together with the insertion operator you see this so it just means that output these things here okay the same things here so that's what c out means okay and then every program end with semicolon here okay you write your program it end with a semicolon here so that's something you should remember and then the main body is here that's where the main function that's the main function every program especially when you run it should have a main function okay and like i told you the int is the return type is the type of the return and which is zero here okay so and this one end with this so and don't forget to close your program here okay this one goes with this guy here okay so that's basically how you can run quickly a c plus plus program the easiest way by using a browser and you know there are many um comp online compilers out there this is the one i'm going to show you more later okay so thank you very much and uh, see you